How can you make money out of Excel, your Excel VBA skills? Well, one thing you're going to have to do is interact with clients. So let's talk about how to manage a client meeting. I've got five tips for you today. I'll tell you one of my favorite quotes. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. I want you to be nice at your first client meeting. May sound like a radical idea in today's business world where we've got people like Donald Trump saying you've got to be a hard negotiator. There's only two things you've got to do in business to get people to buy into you. You've got to be competent and you've got to be compassionate. So you've got to be able to do something and you've got to be a nice person to have around. The way you're going into this meeting, you've demonstrated your competence because remember the previous video, you've shown in your online content that you are competent. You have technical competence. You could potentially be useful, but are you a good person to have around? That's the next question. Can you be nice? This should be your aim for the meeting. Just be a nice person to have around. Let's move on to number two. At this meeting, you've got to ask lots of questions. Now, I know that you're loving VBA and you're loving the interest in your business. It's not about you. It's not about me as the VBA consultant. It's about creating value for somebody else. So you've got to make sure they are the center of the meeting. I've put together a support file to help you think about how these things might affect you and your career. Link in the description below this video. Go ahead, download the file, complete it. It's going to get you thinking about how you might make money out of Excel. Make sure you're asking the right questions about their business. Later in the series, we're going to be talking about the questions you should be asking every business over, every business owner, every manager in order to understand their organization. So number three, as you're asking the questions, their requirements for Excel are going to begin to come out. And then this is where you're going to have to become a translator. In a previous life, I was a Japanese to English translator, believe it or not. But what do I mean by translation in this context? Well, when people are talking about what they want Excel to do, we want it to have this report, have this analysis. You've got to be translating that into the techniques that can get those things done. And it might not even be possible what the customer is asking for. So you've got to do that process of live translation. I could do that with a pivot table. I could do that with VBA, whatever it might be. You've got to be able to do that live in the meeting to an extent. If you're watching this video on the day it's released, we are doing a live stream tomorrow. So why not take a little video on your smartphone telling me your impressions of the video, how you're gonna start making money out of Excel. Take the video, share it with me at this email address. I might just use your video in tomorrow's live stream. That's going to come with experience, but also by getting yourself in the mindset, you're going to have to do it. That's going to really help. Let's move on to point four, the technical stuff we love as Excel, Excel VBA people. But I've got to tell you straight up, your customer doesn't care about the technical stuff. You might want to talk about VBA, loops, conditional statements, module level variables. I don't know, whatever it might be, your customer doesn't care. You've got to be customer focused. They're not going to be impressed by you talking about your array of Excel VBA techniques. You've got to translate that into the value you're going to create for the customer. So if you've turned up, you're nice, you're the kind of person uh, they'd like to be around, you've asked lots of questions, you've made them the center of the meeting, you've explained how VBA Excel can create value for them, only then at the end of the meeting do I recommend you talk about costings. Not at the beginning, not in the middle of the meeting, only when it's absolutely clear what value your customer is going to get out of your project do you talk about costings. And we're not going to go into specific costing strategies. I hope you're enjoying this video series. Here's the five things you can get out of our Members Monday membership. Click join below this video for more. But you can find, if you do a quick Google search, you know the going day rate for Excel, Excel VBA development, what it, whatever it might be. So have a strategy in mind, but I recommend you leave that until the end of the meeting. So there's five tips to get you started with client meetings and how you monetize your Excel, Excel VBA skills.